Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Hollow Knight. On the last episode, we explored more of the Crystal Peak using this newfound Crystal Dash and also died at the end of it. And this is what was at the end of that passage um, where we didn't get all the way through to the end. It was this lever and there's a lift down to the dirt mouth and that is literally it. And down the hole there was a grub, like I said last time. And that is all that was there that we missed. Um, that is actually it for the Crystal Peak for now. Um, and this time, we're going to see what else we can get using this ability, as well as um, some other things that we've managed to unlock. So, uh, first things first, we are going to head down to Green Path, because there's a couple places with some long passages there, and we haven't been able to go into them. So, um, luckily the stag station is quite close to them, actually. So, if we just take that down... Oh, and in between episodes, I also repaired our um, Fragile Greed Charm, so we'll put that on at the station, uh, because it broke when we died last time. But, um, on a uh, helpful little tip, if you go to Leg Eater with the Defender's Crest on, all of his services will be cheaper. So his charms will be cheaper, and repairing them will also be cheaper. Which is just a helpful little tip, really. Hold ourselves down there, slap it on, because we're probably not going to die again. Hopefully. As long as we play slightly better than last time, it won't happen anyway. Um, and then from here, we shall head down. It's been a while since we've been back to Green Pot, it's always nice to revisit old areas. How did we, how did we not go down the left side? Oh, I guess I was just a moron going through here the first time. All right, we can just get the money now. There we go. Chop that down. Keep going. There we go. Need to head down. Did I even? I, I guess I just didn't go from this angle before when I was going through here because I didn't even hit that lever. That's really odd. And right, then I guess we're even still finding new things here to do here. I didn't think I'd be saying that, but... Oh, game surprises you sometimes, or rather, I surprise myself with how, um, careless I can be in not going everywhere and doing everything. Um, but yes, we're going to head along this passage. Because we could... We could always fall in the spikes, that's a constant, apparently. Um, but we could always go past this first guy, but after that, there wasn't really a lot we could do. However, now that we have our lovely crystal dash, we can keep going and going. She's just lovely. Not so bad at the game, but, you know, nice bit of shell bouncing, never hurt. These guys are just hovering at the bottom, not a problem, until you do that. Uh, There we go, made it. Those guys can't act, won't actually hit you, they're just going in their little line. So unless you drop or something, then you'll be fine. Um, yeah, just keep going across. You can crystal dash through this place, but it's risky. And here we, down here we have another hidden rancid egg, our favourite, lovely. Because um, we use those so often. Uh, we're going to read through here, and we've got a bench and a house. Who the hell lives out here? How did they even get here? Painter? A visitor! Why have you covered in here, little grub? Perhaps, like me, you have a taste for discovering new things? I am Shio, and in a previous life I was a nail master. Yes, the only thing that drove me was becoming stronger and honing my skills with a nail. I imagine it was my one calling in life, but that feeling faded over time. Now I seek a new calling, something that speaks to my soul and compels me forward. That's why I spend my time here, secluded, trying to master the art of creation. Painting, sculpting. These things bring a different kind of pleasure. Hmm. You don't seem very moved by what I've said. Was it Shio the nail master you were looking for? Did you come to learn a nail art? I'll teach if you insist. Uh, yes please. painting of us. 
Master the Great Slash. Hold X to concentrate energy into the nail. They spell without holding up or down to perform the Great Slash. Good so, now, my works, does it move you? The wielding of a nail, the wielding of a brush. These things are not so different. We cut into the world so that we can peer deep in, deeper inside. For now though, I have nothing more to teach you. Your path forwards. Only you can see it. Good luck. I have spare brushes and plenty of paint. Once you tire of the nail, feel free to join in me in my art. Unfortunately, you never can do any painting with Shio here, but that's life. Uh, yeah, no, that's all he's got for us. Although, there's always the dream nail. My brother, Oro, or drove you to hide away deep down at the very edge of that ash wept grave. Was it pride, or fear, or shame? Perhaps you should lay down your nail if it haunts you so, and find a new calling that eases your soul. He's got, I mean, he may have retired, but he's still got a couple of nails walking lo around. There's two over here, there's a couple in the a couple in the background uh, over here. No, I didn't mean to talk to you, but yeah, he seems to have his art. However, we've got ourselves this great slash, and as you can see, that radius that it covers is huge, and it also, of course, deals increased damage. Um, I believe it's a multiple of 2.5, uh, the regular nail damage. In, in that entire radius, uh, which is pretty nice. Um, dash here on the way back. Um, I know at one point that's just like a wall that you slam into. Um, yep, there it is. Uh, and then you just keep going. And you stop before the end because there's thorns. Put that down. Try to bang you out of there. Um, and then. Yes, I know where we'll head next. It wasn't the original plan, but it's a plan nonetheless. Um, uh, yeah, we'll just go along here. We're going to head back to the Stone Sanctuary to see if there's anything for us there now. I get the feeling there may be. Oh, hang on. Can we. Yes, we can get this man's stuff. Lovely. Another Hallowness seal. Cash money. Oh, I forgot those guys were there. Obviously still not a threat, but just caught me off guard. And... Keep going along. We're in the right place. Yeah, we're going the right way. So. Basically, you just hold down the X button to charge the arts. If you let go, then it releases, uh, and that's kind of it. It's there's actually no downside to always having them charged and ready to go, um, other than having to hold down the X button for an inordinate period of time. Although sometimes that happens, um, but it can give you a little bit more air time if you need that to avoid. Because it stops you in midair, which is Quite helpful, actually. Hey, guys. These guys are back here, but with our nail that's stronger than it was last time they saw us, they're even easier to deal with. Um, and we're going to head into the Stone Sanctuary. Here we have another Dream Warrior. My child. Can you still see? Please, don't hurt me. Can't sleep with your eyes open, little one. Can't dream if you're still breathing, little one. Precious children, you speak such loathsome things as you sleep. Your claws scratch and scrape. Precious children, monsters come for us in the dark. Will you sing for me? Simple, but it has the atmosphere. The 
this is uh, this has no eyes, which seems a bit of a, a rude name to give it, to be honest. Um, you can play this boss fight in two ways, basically. You can either jump around and chase her, or you can wait for her to come to you, and she teleports intermittently. Um, Space slashes also work. Also a new ability we just picked up, it's pretty useful to us. Chilling to have no music for the uh, spooky scene. Oh. Bottom platform is usually a safe space to uh, store some health if you need to. the end of her health, she starts teleporting quite a lot more, so at that point it's usually better to wait for her to come to you and focus on dodging all of these um, projectiles that she's chucking at you. I say as I go completely against that advice, but she's got to be pretty close to being done. One by one, their eyes closed at last. I felt its warm stillness falling over us. I'm sorry I was frightened of you. You were always protecting us, even when we couldn't see you. Take us there, please. A place where light cannot haunt us. A place without dreams. Please. Oof. Heavy stuff. But another bunch of soul lessons for us. A face carved from stone. There's actually more in here that we haven't seen yet. Um, can't go up there yet. Well, I can't go up there from that angle anyway. So, climb up and then go in from the very top. I'm gonna check every wall just in case there's something behind them. And what do we have out the other side? Lost fragment. Lovely. That's two out of four. Halfway there. And, um, I think that's just about everything that, that they have for us here. It's just the boss fight and the monster fragment, really. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna see, um, what we have along there at the bottom on the left. I was gonna do a different thing, but plans just sort of never happen with this series, so... Oh well. At least I think the audio is working this time, which is better than most times. <laughs> at least recently. Um... So yeah, we're gonna go along the left and see what there is for us. Since our new crystal dash can help us out there as well. As well as helping us get there. One nearly fell in the acid, just for old time's sake, but no, none of that this time. There we go, keep moving, keep moving. I can hear the faint whisper of that, uh, that vessel fragment up there, but um, that's how to get there. A different matter, really, isn't it? Go. Now that's two out of three on there. We're getting close to completing both of those. Unfortunately, Sly can't fill them out um, on either account, but he can get us closer. Um, actually, no, with the Vessel Fragment, uh, he's given us his last one. And that really is his last one, I'm pretty sure. So, uh, Though once our lands, a pale being lays claim to the caverns ahead. It may appear benevolent, but it does not share our dream. Be wary to wander that place. Yikes. Well, I can't, because there's a platform blocking my way. 
Um, yeah. How much time do we have left in the episode? Um, sure, we'll at least head, like, towards um, the place I want to do a lot next time, just so it's quicker to get there, because we'll already be there. Um, when we start the next episode, I don't know if we'll be able to do what I want to do in the time of the episode, but um, let's just get there at least. So first we're going to want to head back to the Stag Station. The destination we're headed for is the Soul Sanctum. Um, because there's one more thing for us there uh, that, that we can get now. As per usual. Actually, maybe down towards the Fog Canyon and the Queen Station there would be quite good, but we're already on the way to this one. So, never mind. I just died from us farting on it. Pretty easy. Um, Greenpath is really quite a nice area, at least a nice one to revisit. While we were here, it was a bunch of acid and spikes and fighting hornet, but I want to revisit it. It's fairly pleasant because the enemies aren't too hard and everything's sort of quite relaxed. City storerooms are probably the closest to the Soul Sanctum, aren't they? Yeah, 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 they're the closest. All right, um, we'll head there then. City storerooms. Actually, we might be able to squeeze it in this episode. I'm especially quick about it. not refighting the soul tyrant in case any of you were thinking that. I don't think I'm gonna do that for a while. Because no. One, I don't think I'd be able to, and two, it it just takes too long. Last time the first phase alone took a good seven minutes or so. So yes, this is actually a really good place to still dash into. We got that elegant key. And if you remember this door. We can open that up now, using that. Let's see what we've got in here. Hello. Oh. Oh. It's another one of these. I remember dying to this one a lot, because while I don't think the other one uh, summons uh, these volleys, this one does, which can actually make the battle a hell of a lot harder, although the Defender's Crest helps quite a lot with that, um, because one hit and a bit of cloud on them will usually do them in. So, all together, not that bad. This guy, same as before really, we had one earlier. Ow. Not that bad, he says, getting hit, which is just classic me, but there he goes. Yeah, okay, we'll be able to quickly grab what we're here for and then finish the episode. <laughs> Putting it quite close to my schedule, but... Uh, figure connected to our device, down closely, absolutely. Oh! Right.
There we go. All right. Got that for us. The uh, consume the shade soul. So this is an upgrade for our vengeful spirit. Sorry about the cut there. Something happened, and basically what that gave us was an upgrade for our vengeful spirit. So now it's black and does more damage. It's just like the uh, descending dot, the dust of dive, but um, it's for the vengeful spirit, and that is where we're going to end the episode. Um, so thank you all so much for joining me for another episode of Hollow Knight. Um, on the next episode, we'll probably start exploring some new areas that the uh, Crystal Dash has given us access to, and see what we can do with it. Um, but thank you all so much for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye bye.